feels the wrong way around this. Well, you didn't know you were going to be my best man till yesterday. Hold still. Hold still. Hey. Um, I'm sorry if I've been a bit off with you in the past. I was just worried about Mum. That's perfectly understandable. Well, she's happy. I'm happy. What? What? No, no. Mum would have done a much better job of the flowers. Shoddy, if you ask me. Well, you should tell her that when she gets back later on, she'll be very pleased. Why have you used lilies? They're for funerals. I was thinking the same thing. Were you thinking the same thing? No. But I was thinking how weird this is. Weird? You come to your ex-wife's wedding, what's weird about that? Well, the whole thing's weird, isn't it? I mean, where is everyone? That's why Asha might be coming. Shh. What's wrong She's in a counselling session. Oh, yeah. She talks to you about what's going on? Not really. Hmm? I can't keep being Shh. your spy. Is this the part where I say she's on her way? Well, isn't she? Oh, just relax. She'll be here, OK? You look nice. Thanks. What about me? You look nice, too. Sorry. You don't look nice. You look hot. Have we uh, got an ETA? Shall I uh, go on my outside for it? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, relax. Relax. Look, nearly all brides are late. And nearly all of them show up. <sighs> Get nervous. Man, you look beautiful. Hey, listen, why, uh, why don't we walk you down the aisle? I'd be so proud to. Oh, boys, I'd, I'd, that'd be lovely, but I've already promised Carla. Yeah, you can do it next time she gets married. <laughs> listen, but why don't you head inside and let me know we're here, yeah? Uh, yeah, of course. So, I'm going to ask you one last time. Are you sure you want to do this? Bride and groom will make their vows to one another. I've not said anything yet. It doesn't matter, it always gets me. Michelle, when I first realized that I'd completely fallen for you, I remember thinking she'll never be mine. Life sometimes has a funny way of throwing people together. In our case, it came through great pain. But somehow, out of that pain, 
Kim, love. And whatever bumps we've had in the road, my love for you has never wavered. Never. You are the sun around which I orbit. Enough. You are literally the light of my life. And I am humbled by your love for me, by your honesty, your compassion, and forgiveness. And I swear that I will be faithful, honest, and true to you for the rest of our days. Michelle? <clears throat> Robert. You're the most amazing man I've ever met. You're handsome. And kind. And I pinch myself that you want to be with me. When you touch me, I shiver. The first time we made love, I just knew I was a goner. It just feels so right. Like in Titanic. Only neither of us should have to die. Sure. And now, I'm carrying your baby. I just know it's meant to be. Why can't you tell Michelle about us? Hmm? We've been together for months. The stupid cow needs to get over you and move on. You said we're going to be a family. You, me, and Tyler. No way. Please don't. No, 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 Queen. Because you replied, didn't you? And you replied, I'll tell Michelle when the time is right. She's still fragile because of the baby she was. <laughs> and it would hurt her to know I was sleeping with another woman. But you know how I feel about you. This can't be real, surely. Oh, Robert. The engagement ring you gave me is so beautiful. I can't wait for our wedding day. It's going to be access. Now, it actually does say access on here, but I think it's predictive text. I think she was probably trying to say ace, although she could genuinely be concerned about wheelchair users. I don't Please know. Please stop. This, Michelle. in case any of you were wondering, these are messages from Robert's lover. Oh, sorry, fiance. Yeah, Vicky. She very kindly sent me these messages to rub my nose in it. Oh, so you might have seen her on the street, seven months pregnant with his kid. <laughs> And just in case you're in any doubt, I don't. Oh, and thanks for the free restaurant. So we was having it up with Vicky at the same time. She's knocking her up. I think we've got some explaining to do. Come on, then. This is true, is it? Yeah. You've been cheating on all well, night. Okay, let's calm it down. You got another woman pregnant. No! No, no fighting in here. Show some respect. Leave it, boys. He's not worth it. Why don't you go and check on your mum? Yeah, come on. Out. Out. Oi! 
I want a word with you. What are you doing here? Well, this just gets better. Where's my mum? I have no idea. She didn't come home last night. She's not answering her calls. Tell her I haven't got time for this. You aren't going anywhere until you tell me what you've done with my mum. I don't think you should be on your own. I'm fine, honestly. I just need some space. Mum! Wait! Why didn't you tell us? I'm sorry, all right? I just couldn't risk Robert finding out. I haven't done anything with her! You're a liar! I know you were at ours last night. Neighbours had heard you two arguing, and now she's disappeared. Well, we wouldn't have told anyone. Ryan, you're the worst liar in the world. No, I'm not. I'm good at lying. No, you're not, Ryan, you rubbish. You OK? Yeah, I'm OK. I'm just in shock, you know. Get back here! You were the last person to see my mum. Where is she? You stay away from her. Yeah. Michelle! We're not even going to talk about this! It's not the right time. Leave it. Back off, yeah. all right? Go find him, ward him off. No, just leave it, all right? I don't want anything happening to you. I can't believe you got the beast, Phil. Yeah, it must feel good to get your revenge. Yeah. I thought it would. But it doesn't. I got the beast, Joe, but I lost the man at month. <sighs> this is not the way I wanted it to be at all. I thought Robert was the one, I thought. I thought he was different. Look, he's not worth getting upset about. I can't believe he was engaged to that Vicky as well. I thought Robert was one of the good ones. You're joking me. That's what all he's done. Surprised you stayed with him as long as you did. Yeah, okay, well. Serves me right, doesn't it? Taking Tracy Barlow's leftovers again. So what are you gonna do now? I'm selling up. I'm moving away. No. Mum. No, you don't be silly. You can't do that. He's right. Come on. There's, there's no need to do anything hasty. Carla, I've just screwed Robert over and taken his restaurant. I need to get as far away from him as possible. 